24 and a half, 65 degrees. everybody it's Ryan welcome back to how farms work dad and Travis just hopped into the 9770 STS with the 930 F grain platform on we're gonna try running some beans through we went around and checked this morning to see what the moisture was doing and they were still kind of squishy so we waited a little bit the Sun came out we're gonna take the combine out and try running some beans through so this head is quite an upgrade from anything that we've used in the past our last head was a 20 footer and this one's a 30 foot so we're definitely going to be blasting through soybeans they're heading out to the field right now i'm sure our new setup doesn't seem real big to a lot of guys out there but uh, for us this is monumental we always talked about how we were, we were hoping one day to join the big leagues well when you're running a six row corn head this is the big leagues to us. time to start my harvest beard.
my grandpa's before it. Oh, that was 13. 9510. Thing about that Dallas speed though is it slows down and it's gradually dropping into it because like before if it's set to manual like on the other head, yeah, the reel is staying the same speed and all it is is stripping all the beans off of those first plants. Yeah. Wake up, baby! It's harvest time! We're in the 4640 now. Andrew just showed up with the weigh wagon because the yield monitor needs to be calibrated for soybeans. We've not used this combine to harvest any beans yet, and I personally feel like it's way off because it's saying that we're at 45 bushels to the acre right now. But I'm emptying out the red wagon while they harvest enough to fill up the way wagon so they can calibrate the monitor. Whoops, I overloaded the front just a little bit. But I was watching the air gauge and uh, right when it hits 60 is when you can see the beans pop up. So that's how you know to move back. But uh, the shifter was out of gear and I popped the clutch out. So I had to wait for the gears to wind back down so I could get the shifter back in place. This should roughly be 600 bushels. But we're gonna get a full load, I imagine Depending on how soon we can get a full load on the semi, whether I'll take a load down yet tonight, and uh, I'm sure we're gonna fill everything up for tomorrow. So far, everything seems to be going real nice and smooth. Look like to you guys 85,000 84 that's my guess I'm gonna take this load to Warren tonight uh, Hannah's working light and it's at least an hour drive so might as well take this tonight into, instead of tomorrow they're gonna look, finish loading up the carts and uh, that way they'll have a load for me pretty much immediately in the morning Eighty-three thousand. Nine hundred and seventy-five. 
75 bushels of soybeans. Heading back home now. All right, buddy, come on. And with that, the first day of harvest is a wrap. First thing in the morning, I'm gonna hop in the semi and take that out so that they have more storage space and can start harvesting once the beans are ready to go. So a question that I want to address that I've been getting on my Snapchat recently is whether we're getting another grain cart to demo this fall. And unfortunately, the answer to that is that we are not. So we've been getting a grain cart to demo every year for the last few years. And thinking back, we've been actually getting grain carts as sponsored demos ever since I bought Big Red. And although they have made things convenient, having all of our storage space and one tractor, one grain cart, and it just made things a little bit easier as far as you know managing and not having to move around two tractors. Before we started getting those grain carts and before I bought Big Red, what we were doing before then was hauling the auger and all of the wet grain wagons that we could pull behind the tractors and we were taking them out to the field to try to fill them up hoping that we would get a truck sent to us that would take some grain out and i feel like ever since i bought big red i feel like that was probably the biggest time saver slash convenience i wouldn't really even say convenience it, it was almost a necessity when it comes to harvesting with the storage capacity that came with big red I'm kind of on the fence of thinking, you know, maybe we should buy another truck and uh, grain trailer. So then we can always have a track or a truck out in the field. And then when I get back from hauling a load down, I can hop in the other truck and take that down or Travis and dad can, you know. I just feel like a larger grain cart like that falls under the law of diminishing returns when it comes to convenience. You know, it can only go so far, to, so far to really help. We do have the storage capacity out in the field with the two grain carts that we do have to store enough grain to fill the semi. So I feel like as long as the semi is running, we're gonna be just fine. And that's been the big thing is just keeping that full. And now with the larger combine, I know for a fact that the combine is easily gonna offset any time savings that we had with that grain cart. So I just wanted to address that in this video. Um, it is unfortunate that we aren't getting another grain cart, but unfortunately that's just the way things go. Will we in the future? Who knows? Uh, I don't have anything bad to say about Unperforth. I've always had a positive experience working with them. Um, we were just never contacted for a grain cart demo this fall. And sponsorships never make or break the farm. I feel like if you allow them to do that, you're gonna have a bad time. And there's always just a bigger fish to fry, if you know what I'm saying. But uh, I'm just fortunate enough that we've gotten use out of the grain carts that we did have sent to us. And uh, I've never expected anybody to send us anything when it comes to sponsorships. Um, if I've ever gotten offered them, I say, heck yeah. But I've never expected it and we've never relied on the sponsorships when it came to the farm. So I just wanted to address that in this video. So with that, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.